Alrighty, <clears throat> well hello YouTube, here I have my new Sherwin Vega VE12 speakers, there they are, you have um, tweeter mid-range woofer, three-way speakers, 300 watts each, $300 each, they're really nice, still have my same old setup over here, uh, I need a better amplifier, um, you know, Christmas is coming up, so <clears throat> if I have enough money, which I probably won't, I'll buy an amplifier. But if not, I'm going to buy a MyDi controller because that is just really cool. Um, I've gotten into the uh, electronic music lately. I still like all the old stuff, but I like electronic music too. That's like the new thing for me, so <laughs> that's pretty sick. Like, So <clears throat> here they are. Uh, 12 inch woofer I'm just going to try to remember this off the top of my head it's probably not right I think it's like a 5.5 inch it's it's 5 and something inch uh, mid range and then like a 1 and 3 quarters inch tweeter or something like that oh, the frequency response is uh, 30, no 27 to 20,000 hertz that's pretty good I looked on Amazon, that's where I bought them from, they had great reviews, I love them, they're loud, <clears throat> I'm going to close this window, it's kind of making the video look like crap, there we go, I apologize for the mess in my room by the way, um, anyway, <laughs> here we go, this is like, um, some part of Skankin Bass's, uh, one hour and 10 minute mix drops number one and this is 30 minutes and 41 seconds in and huh, this has a lot of bass and it's kind of turned up pretty loud I guess uh here we go <laughs> I think that's loud enough for you to see the woofer move, so I think I'm gonna have to turn it up louder. Unfortunately, like I said, amplifier sucks, so it's probably not gonna sound good loud, but whatever, I'll turn it up loud. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> That's moving a lot. Um, it's definitely like I can literally feel the floor moving up and down. It's it's ridiculous. Like, well, usually when I <laughs> when I do that, stuff starts falling over. Like it has just now. This fell from here, and the little canister fell over. Stuff just starts falling when I turn it up. Like. I had these cassette tapes stacked, and this was up here, um, like that, but I guess once I do this again, it'll fall over. Yeah, I saw it move like five millimeters, but I guess if I put it towards the edge, like, it's still on there pretty good. Like, I can stomp on the floor and it won't fall over, but if I turn the base up, I could probably get it to fall over again.
There you are. That is base making my stuff fall over my room. Oh, I'm so glad my parents aren't home while I'm doing this because they'd be flipping out. That was loud. <laughs> I mean, you could feel the floor just like under your feet, kind of like just vibrating so much. It's ridiculous. And uh, I really enjoy the speakers. I don't enjoy knocking stuff over, but actually I do. I'll, I'll confess to that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, I have a, sort of a small room. Uh, I'm not sure what the dimensions are, but yeah, it's a mess. Alright, that's what they look like with the cover on. Uh, it's nice. Um... Sounds the same with the cover on and with the cover off, if you're wondering that, which is kind of like a dumb question, but, uh, I don't know, it sounds the same, it's just got a cover on it, <clears throat> it looks nice, um, I think it looks cooler without the cover on it, personally, but, uh, I only take the cover off of it when I'm um, showing it off, <laughs> Because I don't want it to get damaged, you know, the front of it and all that. Uh, don't want anybody poking the speaker cone or something. Actually, if you go back in the video, you'll see the speaker cone doesn't come out like that. It actually goes in. Uh, in the middle of it, in the center. So you can't really poke it in. It's already in. You know, like... When you go on eBay and you're looking for speakers and then somebody's got the little cone and they poked it in and it looks like crap. I don't think you could do that with these speakers, which is a huge bonus, I guess, if you have children. Um, or if you just have a lot of things going on in your house and you have the cover off of it. Uh, I just keep it on. I don't want the red to fade on it and stuff. And yes, these are nice speakers. I think I might have broken them in. I'm not sure. This is the first pair of speakers I've ever bought in my life. So, um, just to wrap the video up, have great sound. Nothing about them is bad, in my opinion. They're loud. They have a lot of bass. They're all around just great. I wouldn't change anything about it. It's just full sound, best speakers I've ever had, even though <laughs> the other speakers I had were like one-way, like low-end Fisher speakers, so just pieces of junk, you'll see them in other videos of mine. This is the first time I've put these on YouTube, and they are huge. Um, actually, uh, I didn't expect to get these speakers, I was one of those stupid people. I was extremely stupid. I thought that $300 was going to give me a pair of speakers that were a little bit smaller than these. Oh, so I got one big speaker. And it was a big box it was in. And I was like, well, there's no way two speakers are going to fit in there. And that's one huge speaker <laughs> if it's not. So then after I spent $300 on one speaker... I didn't have any more money, and I wanted another speaker, because one speaker is a waste of money. So I got that one as an early Christmas present, so uh, I can't really complain. <laughs> Although I've had that one for a month longer than I've had that one. So I tried, like, yeah, you know, I was listening to it, and I was marveling at it and crap. So then when I got the new one, I had to, like put the balance over to the left so I could wear that one in a little bit more so it's equal I don't know I don't even think that makes much of a difference but uh, I did it anyway just in case it does those are my Sherwin Vega VE12 speakers I hope you enjoyed the video